You may have heard videos or read blogs that talk about the health benefits of nitrates in foods like arugula, beets, spinach and kale, just to name a few, that can actually boost nitric oxide levels in our body. But then you hear that nitrates and nitrites when added to processed meats have been shown to be carcinogenic or cancer causing. So now you're wondering, which is it? Are they healthy or toxic for our bodies? Well, today I'm going to clear up the confusion surrounding nitrates and nitrites. We'll talk about the difference between these two chemicals, where they're found, and lastly, are they helpful or harmful to our body? Don't go anywhere, it's going to be good! Nitrates and nitrites are both chemical molecules containing nitrogen and oxygen. But here's the difference. Nitrates contain one atom of nitrogen bond bonded to three atoms of oxygen. On the other hand, nitrites have one atom of nitrogen bonded to only two atoms of oxygen. So how do we get exposed to these chemicals? Well, these molecules exist widely in plants, water, dirt, and even air. In these mediums, some of these nitrates and nitrites occur naturally, while others are synthetically produced. Nitrates are part of a natural mineral deposit, while nitrites are formed when microorganisms break down animal matter in the soil. For instance, vegetables acquire these chemicals from the soil they're growing in. So when you eat leafy greens like arugula, cilantro, butterleaf lettuce, they're naturally high in nitrate content. The nitrates that you get from eating vegetables are broken down and converted into nitrites and nitric oxide in the body. And nit nitric oxide can support cardiovascular health, boost immune function, and support mitochondrial health, and also regulate life and death of cells. Research also shows that it plays a significant role in protecting the stomach lining, preventing metabolic disease, and heart disease. So you're probably wondering right about now, well, if this is true, why are we told that nitrates and nitrites cause cancer? And I love this question because it tells me that you're thinking on your feet and that's what it takes to stay healthy and reclaim your health. So let's take a closer look. Remember I said that nitrates and nitrites found in vegetables are naturally occurring? Well, there's also synthetically produced nitrates and nitrites like sodium and potassium nitrate or nitrite. Manufacturers add these synthetic chemicals to foods like cured sandwich meats, bacon, hot dogs, salami, and sausages to give them color, to stop bacterial growth, and to prolong shelf life. Now, here's where the problem comes in. When you consume meats with these synthetic chemicals, the acidic environment in your stomach breaks them down into a compound called nitrosamines. Research also shows that when nitrates and meats are heated above 266 degrees Fahrenheit in the presence of amines, which are amino acids in the meat, it also form forms nitrosamines. Now, nitrosamines are linked to an increased risk of esophageal cancer and cancer of the oral cavity and the pharynx. It's also been linked to prostate and brain cancer. Now, the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease a Registry also states that if you consume unusually high levels of these synthetic nitrates or nitrites, it can lead to a condition called methemoglobinemia. This is a condition that decreases your body's red blood cells ability to carry oxygen to your tissue. And we already know that creating a state of heightened hypoxia or decreased oxygen to the nerves for peripheral neuropathy sufferers will definitely worsen their condition. So how much of these synthetic nitrates do we have to consume before it becomes a problem? It's estimated that eating between 2,000 and 9,000 milligrams of synthetic nitrates can be acutely toxic, leading to hemoglobin problems. The good news is that consuming really high levels of nitrates is rare unless you're drinking fertilizer contaminated water. So how does this happen? Well, your drinking water can become contaminated with nitrogen-based fertilizer, as well as livestock and human waste. This is extremely dangerous for inf infants who drink this contaminated water because they can develop methemoglobinemia, also known as blue baby syndrome. The National Cancer Institute has also shown that nitrates and nitrites in tap water also increase the risk of cancer. 
Now, in the absence of water contamination, the average intake of nitrates per person in the U.S. is between 40 and 100 milligrams per day. In Europe, it's about 50 to 140 milligrams per day. Now, these are really safe levels. Now, before you breathe a sigh of relief, here's something to consider. The real problem, regardless of how much nitrate or nitrite you consume, is that when they're consumed in the presence of amino acids or meat, the natural digestion creates nitrosamines. Or when meats with these chemicals are heated above 266 degrees Fahrenheit, nitrosamines are also formed. And there is no safe level of nitrosamines. Remember, nitrosamines cause cancer. Now, the next question should be, are we at risk consuming nitrates or nitrites found in vegetables? And the answer is no. Research shows there's a tremendous difference in the way the body processes all natural nitrates and nitrites versus synthetic. For instance, natural nitrates and nitrites consumed in vegetables don't get converted to nitrosamines like they do with their synthetic counterparts. And a large part of this reason is that vegetables contain many antioxidants like vitamin C and others to prevent this type of conversion. So we received quite a few comments and questions from people concerned about eating vegetables because of the nitrates. So now you know, health explorers, consuming vegetables like arugula, cilantro, butterleaf lettuce, Swiss chard, and many others will safely increase nitric oxide levels without raising the risk of harmful nitrosamines. So don't avoid these extremely beneficial vegetables. Now, some people might say you still shouldn't eat them because of the dreaded oxalates. Here's what I can tell you. The story of oxalates is so misunderstood and misrepresented, but you'll have to wait and stay tuned for our upcoming video on this topic. So make sure you click on the bell so you get notified as soon as we release this video. And don't forget to like us or share our video with others who need our guidance. The peripheral neuropathy road is lonely and, and a scary one. So we wanna reach as many people as possible and let them know that they're not alone and there is hope. Well, that's it for now, health explorers. No more excuses. So make sure you eat your dang veggies. I look forward to seeing you on the road to great nerve health. Come here, precious girl. Come here. What's your good girl? What's your good girl? Huh? Shut your good girl. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go lie down. Down. Hello. Go lie down. Good girl.